Hi, I'm Baron. If you're new to the channel, I do ship deep dives, buyers guides, all sorts of information on ships. So I hope you enjoy. What's up everyone? Today we're going to be going over some general stuff for IAE. This sort of gives you a bit of a hand and sort of helps you if this is your first show. There's also some updates from CIG in regards to some of their shows. Now, whether or not this is your first show, this one's probably going to be a pretty big one since we are getting the Drake Corsair in-game and that is going to create some tremendous hype. And I think that a lot of people are already excited about this. It's fantastic. It's also a free fly schedule as well. So this whole show should be free fly. So if you haven't signed up to Star Citizen, use my referral code up in the top right screen or it's down in the description. Also, going on from there, there's a lot of content on their end that they're going to be putting out a lot in before and after the show like during the show so there's a lot of stuff in there that you shall be interested in for those also who have never been to IAE or New Babbage now when you go to New Babbage or you spawn in New Babbage you go to the commons you go to the New Babbage interstellar, uh, interstellar spaceport there should be red signs that say IAE 2952 with arrows pointing in which way to go and how to get to the show. Now anywhere that you jump in uh, on the like the transport system there whether you jump on it there's the um, spaceport the commons our spy grand there will be signs and they will be pointing you in the right way to go just make sure you get off at the Tobin Convention Center when you get to where you're going in the middle of the um, station there should be a sign and it should either say Tobin Convention Center the commons or aspy grand and you just go there until you get to Tobin Convention Center like I said if this is your first show there's a lot of stuff at the commons as well that's where you get all your weapons your uh, ammunition your components anything that you really need something and just a bunch of other stuff so anything that is like really uh, crucial that you may need to get and whether or not you got the UEC that is also another factor in that now for all of you who are wanting to get a whole limited ship there will be an FAQ on Thursday before the show and this will give you the times and the waves of these ships during the show so that you can get ready and pre be prepared I guess and have your alarms set so for the content of um, IAE this year on Monday we've already gone at the IAE travelers guide so if you need that that is a sort of um, a walkthrough of how to get to uh, IAE when you go to New Babbage if you're not going to spawn there and you have to fly there it's still pretty simple along the post of they're going to have a law post on Tuesday um, on Wednesday they're going to have their free fly com link Thursday they're going to have their inside star citizen with an in-depth look at Drake as the IAE sponsor as well as the 600i rework plus the IAE FAQ. Then Friday, day one of IA, IAE, you have newsletters, sub vault updates, Star Citizen Live Annual All Ship Special. So I've got a lot of important questions I wanna ask um, and sort of have a look at on this All Ship Special. I probably won't be able to ask questions since you know it's gonna be um, pre-recorded. But I've got a lot of things that I want to go through and sort of go note down for you guys so that once we come to that point, we're pretty much covered. So with this 600 i rework, we do know, like I have said in the past, we did get an update previously and they did give us sort of a bit of a rundown. But this is going to be a detailed look over the 600 i rework. I'm going to be watching this. I'm going to be taking notes like no tomorrow. I'm going to be getting all the images. I'm going to be getting all the content and sort of jotting it down and giving you a compressed video of that and sort of a detailed overlook like we have done in the past. So I hope you all enjoy that. Along with their Drake as the IAE sponsor, since they're going to be doing an in-depth look at that i'm going to guess it's going to be about the cutter and how there's three variants what they're there for whether or not it's a starter ship um going on from there now if you're like a lot of people and you only have a couple of ships during this show during the free fly all the ships will be available i believe at the end of the show for everyone to fly and throughout the show you will be able to fly ships so hopefully the corsair will be a part of that lineup it's pretty much just to get a feel for the ships to see what you like it's pretty much to see what people want to fly whether or not they want to pledge for anything else and sort of what they want to work for in game i guess and it sort of just opens that little world up for them and i guess it's a good marketing strategy because if people like something a little bit more they are probably going to be willing to spend the money on that now 
going back to the Corsair, we were going to have a massive show for ships. I know there was that post from Zylo and he was saying that some of these things might not come to fruition, but there are, um, you know, hollow viewers there for the Galaxy. There are three podiums there for the, um, the Cutter. So I'm going to guess, you know, this could be real and I don't think um, people were taking and listening to the way that Zyla was um, putting out that post. I think it was based on a different information about the certain ship with the variants and whatnot. So I hope that's going to be something that I can cover a lot because the cutter is something that I really do want to have a look at, something that I want to get and sort of cover for use. If it's a starter ship, it's going to be perfect for everyone that's sort of coming into Star Citizen. I don't think, um, you know, it's going to be something for everybody like every other ship but i think this is going to be perfect for those who are coming into star citizen and wanting to take on dis different industrial roles now as i mentioned again with the ship lineup we do have our major major ships so we do have our um, corsair that is going coming into the game which is going to be flyable the cutter which again that looks like it's a flyable ship and then we have the rsi galaxy which again that is going to be an in-concept ship as i um, understand it is in development at the moment so it's not purely a concept but it is under work and it is based on the pyro stanton gameplay loop on top of everything i'm going to be trying to do daily videos and sort of do update videos over the course of the show for every different manufacturer it's going to be a bit of a challenge but i'm going to try and get prepared and precondition myself for this said um you know task i think it's going to be a little bit more difficult than what i would anticipate and make out but i'm going to give it a go and sort of challenge myself get this content out there for you all and as you all know um, the last day of the show will be the BIS and on top of that I just want to inform you that you must have the C8X Pisces Expedition to be able to get the BIS skin. Now they're saying that you know the Carrick Expedition and the Carrick does come with a C8 Pisces but then again it's also saying that the Carrick comes with a C8X and this Carrick with um, Expedition with a C8X Pisces. Now the way they've said that and the way they've put down the loaners, if you have the UEE Exploration Pack, the 2950 pack that comes with a C8X Pisces, they are saying that you will have a C8X loaner. But for the sake of it, I'm going to buy a C8X anyway just so I can get the skin if I don't sort of get it anyway. Um, just to be sure now if you do have that spare couple of bucks or few dollars I would go and do the exact same thing now if you don't have a Drake Corsair I would definitely sort of hang around ask people in chat because there's gonna be a lot of people flying these things around and I'm gonna be certain that you know a lot of people are gonna allow others to come and view their ship now the Star Citizen live annual all ship special like I said before I don't know if it's gonna be pre-recorded but again I don't know if they'll be taking questions or not I think they'll get a lot of the generic questions but I hope in the you know for sakes that they will take questions and they will sort of look for different questions they won't take the generic questions that they always get throughout the shows and again if you haven't seen the event program it is on their website um, there's also an image over here so that you can see just so you can get an idea of what is going on there now they have also said you know only five days remain this was on november 14th that until the galaxy's premiere um, aerospace event begins now when they say galaxy's premiere it feels like they're saying they're going to premiere the rsi galaxy so again it feels like it's they it's like you know it's coming just to put it out there so I hope you know this sort of gives you a rundown on everything that's going on uh, how busy the community is going to be all the events that are going on I think this is going to be a really lively show and it's going to sort of bring people in to the community so I hope you've enjoyed let me know down in the comments what you think leave a like comment subscribe if you didn't leave a dislike we'll see you in the verse bye bye